An issue that we see a lot of the times for players when they go work on their short game is they don't have a lot of feedback present. We want them to have some tools, something in place that's giving them certainty, saying, yes, you are performing this correctly. And in the absence of a coach, you need some feedback stations. So here are five choices, five options for you that will provide better feedback when you go work on your short game. So this is our channel drill. And this is just providing feedback on two things. One, impact location. If we're hitting the inside rod, that's likely a toe shot. If we're hitting the outside rod, that's a heel shot. And then we're also getting some, some guidance on plane and path. The idea is that the club stays kind of in between this channel for the first half of the backswing, rather than what we see a lot of errors is the club going too far inside. Here, Bladen is doing another kind of plain feedback station where we have these two rods here that are providing an obstruction to one, go ahead and set up one, an inside path on the way back. And then what, if I just have this here, what we see a lot of times is then we start to see some left swing directions. So we also have this rod on the front side and the goal is to try to take some swings where the club is staying on top of those rods on both sides. We start to see the club land a lot better when we see kind of plain guide the way here. Here's another one that we, we use quite a bit because we see a lot of players that have their energy falling away, usually in an effort to get the ball up in the air, rather than having their energy go towards the pin, which helps them land the club better and make better contact, ball and then ground. So the idea here is that uh, we've got a rod that's we're straddling between our feet and then a rod that's right here, uh, kind of bisecting our midline here. And the goal is to try to keep our mass moving in front on the front side of these sticks the whole way. like that. So this station is a little different. Rather than offering some concurrent feedback like the rest of them, this is just like a tempo and a touch drill where we see a lot of players struggle with the symmetry, um, backswing and follow through, or that they're uh, kind of spiking, accelerating their energy through the ball. So this is a tempo station where we're just counting. So we take a couple rehearsals where we count out loud on the backswing one and then follow swing two. So one, two, and then we're going to do the same thing over the ball just to try to get a feel for this tempo develop a little bit of rhythm with our short game for better distance control, two. This is a drill that's helping us work on our release. We don't want to have the, the club overtake our hands too fast or too slow, which would result in a lot of shuffling and club digging. So we have this little station, a rehearsal station. The idea is for the club to kind of get to both of those rods at the same time. If we're hitting the blue rod first, that's a lot of flip. If we're hitting the right rod first, that's a lot of shuffling. So we're just trying to get this neutral kind of vanilla release for a stock shot where the shaft gets to both of those rods at the same time. We practice that in this station, and then we come back here, we actually hit some balls trying to feel that release.